is up? It's your boy Sneakerhead Pat coming to you with this month's Copper Drop video for the month of February. I'm a little late getting it out, so uh, you know, it's been a lot of stuff going on. I've been uh, recording a few other videos. Crazy weekend, watching the Super Bowl. Speaking of that, Atlanta, what the hell happened to y'all? Boy, talk about, talk about a choke. Boy, that, that game was terrible, man. I was going for Brady. I wanted, I wanted to see him get that fifth ring, and he did. And that comeback was crazy. That comeback was definitely a nice little, uh, nice little story to his legacy. But Atlanta, woo! I know y'all are sick. Probably still sick. It's Thursday, and I still keep thinking about the way y'all choked on that. I feel your pain, though. Obviously, I'm a Panthers fan, so we just took a Super L last Super Bowl, so. I feel your pain, bro. And Brady ain't slowing down either. He looked like he got about a good three, four years left in him. Uh, but yeah, man. I know that. I know it hurts, man. But shout out to the Pats for that W. But yeah, this is the copper drop for the month of February. Obviously, I'm not gonna. If you see my copper drops before, you know I'm not going over every release. Just certain ones that stick out to me. Let me pull up this uh, Kicks on Fire app. This is what I normally use. Uh, like I said, I'm not going too much in depth. And my phone about to die. Alright, so February 1st, looked like we had a few uh, NMD colorways that dropped. I wasn't feeling any of them, to be real. The Oreo was decent, I guess, but it, it just wasn't doing it for me. February 4th, we had looks like we had some NMDs. None of those impressed me. I did see the, the darker gray pair at Foot Locker when I went and picked up the Royalty 4s. And definitely wasn't impressed, so... Uh, obviously it was a drop for me. Speaking of the Royalty 4s, in February 4th, we had the Royalty 4 release. And obviously I picked it up, uh, which if you haven't seen my video, check that out. I put it up there. I put the link up there. So click on that. And it's crazy how um, the negative feedback these got. A lot of people got back, uh, a lot of people got these in hand and changed their damn mind. I love them, man. They, the more, the more I look at them, the more I like them, man. These are dope. A lot of people were saying the suede is bad, but the suede, man, is, is actually nice. Uh, people are talking about how it kind of looks ashy, but uh, that's, like I said in my video, man, that's, that's how black suede is, man. That's typical. I'm, I'm over here about to do a whole review for y'all, man. Go look at the video, man. Go look at the video. The Nike LeBron 14 Black Ice, February the 10th. I'm pretty sure those already dropped, right? Those were the limited uh, LeBrons that dropped. I'm pretty sure they were. Uh, either way, it's, I think it's a dope colorway. I think it's a dope shoe. I like the LeBron 14s better. I like them better than the 13s. Them 13s were garbage. But yeah, LeBron 14 dropped. Like I said, I think it released. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't care. February the 11th, we got the Air Jordan 5 Take Flight colorway. Um, this, I'm not, I'm not really impressed with this shoe, man. I told myself I was done with fives. And if I cop another five, it has to be either OG or just a real dope uh, colorway for me to pick it up. And I wasn't that impressed with these. I do like the colorway. I do like how that icy bottom uh, looks on the shoe. Really, really makes them stand out. But, uh... Wasn't impressed from the from jump, and then when I found out these things were four hundred dollars, I said, "Hell no, uh, definitely not cop." Not even thinking about it. The only the thing I like best about this shoe is the box that it comes in. When I saw the box, I was like, "Okay, that box is dope." But four hundred dollars, man, please. February the eleventh, we also got the Adidas Yeezy Boost V2 Black and Red colorway. I hope y'all don't start calling these red Yeezys. Um, I am trying to get them, but I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, I'm trying to get them for trade bait. So hopefully I'll get them and I can uh, hold on to them and trade them for something that I miss out on in the near future. I'm not really big. I'm not I'm not a reseller. I don't I don't care to make a few dollars off a shoe. Uh, when I pick something up and I don't really want it, normally it's for trade bait. So uh, I hold on to it. And when something comes around, you know, like a DB or some collab that is hard to get then you know i pull out the yeezys and i use them for trade bait yeah man that's that's pretty much what yeezys are good for trade bait or to pay your damn rent i went on the countdown that is the Foot Locker countdown 
Got that 10 minute head start. We also got the Air Jordan 1 Black History Month colorway. Um, the concept is dope. The colorway is ass. And uh, I like the fact that you could take off the Jordan logo. You could take off the Wings logo. You can take off the uh, you can take off the check. Now that's that's super dope, man. But that the way that she looks, man, I'm not I'm not rocking with it at all, man. So definite drop for me. Matter of fact, out of all the Black History Month releases, the LeBron 14s they look decent. That's a decent colorway. But as for the rest of them, those are all passes on me. The Air Forces, the KDs, the Kyries, uh, those are all all drops for me. Yeah, but I mean, I'm dropping all of them, so it don't matter. But the only ones I would consider would be the LeBron. February 17th, we got the Air Jordan 6 All-Star colorway, and I got to pick that up. That is a must-cop for me. Can't wait for that. I can't wait for that release, man. I love 6s. I've seen a few reviews on it, and it's looking good. So your boy is definitely picking that up. Can't wait for it, man. Uh... That's one. It's probably gonna be my favorite cop for the month. I'm not sure if it's gonna be hard to get. I don't know if it's gonna uh, only release uh, online or in the city where the All Star Game is. But uh, wherever it is, I am getting it. Got that uh, dope iridescent uh, look to. Oh God, that thing is 225. Good God Almighty, 225. Man, Jordan Brand is killing us with these prices man and i'm still gonna buy it. 225 straight straight resellers man uh i'm still gonna buy it though i'm being there looking like a goddamn sheep so that's a cop retailing for 225 unfortunately uh, i can't believe i didn't know that february the 18th we got the air jordan 13 chicago colorway definite pickup for me i've been waiting on this shoe man i I was trying to find it for the longest, but it was so hard to find dead stock. And uh, right right when I found it, I was about to pull the trigger. And that, I swear that rumor that it was releasing this year came out not too long after. So I'm glad I held off because it's finally here and I will be picking it up. That colorway is just dope, man. February the 18th, we got the Air Jordan 12 OVO black colorway. Uh, I'm gonna try for it, man, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not impressed by it. It's just an all black 12. I'm I'm not a big fan of Drake. I'm not a big fan of the o, the whole OVO uh, collabs, man. I don't. I'm never. I've never really been feeling any of them. And I, that shoe is just all hype, man. It retails for 225. If I get that, if I luck up on it, that's just trade bait, man. It's trade bait for the sheep. All you sheeps. If you like it, man, that's more power to you. You know, if you like what you like. But um, some people are kind of influenced by hype, which, uh, man, when that hype gets in your mind, man, it controls you. February the 19th, we got the Air Jordan 1 All-Star colorway. And that pretty much looks exactly like the Jordan 6. It has that chameleon uh, look. And that's another nickname for it. Uh, same thing with the 6, the chameleon colorway has an iridescent material and I think the ones are dope I'm gonna go for those two hopefully I luck up February is gonna be a good month for me man um, it's so much stuff releasing man and I'm trying to cop all of it February the 25th we got the Air Jordan 12 low playoff colorway man I, I, I wish these were highs man these are them lows don't do it for me man I'm not a fan of lows and I damn sure ain't a fan of 12 lows them 12 lows, just, they just look funny, man. And then the fact that they threw a classic uh, OG colorway with it, it's just, it's like teasing me, man. It's like, you almost had it, bro. You almost had those playoff 12s you've been looking for. I can't do nothing with them damn lows. I might buy them, man. They still look kinda, they still look kinda fresh. I ain't gonna lie to you. Also on February the 25th, we got the Air Jordan alternate eights. And those look almost identical to the Bugs Bunny 8s. And don't don't get mad when I say this, but I think I favor these a little bit more. Just a little bit more than the actual Bug Bunny 8s, which everybody knows the Bugs Bunny 8s are OG colorway. These are a new colorway. They look almost damn near the same. It's just a slight difference. And matter of fact, looking at it, I can't even remember what the difference is. I can't tell you unless I put them side by side. I know the design on the side panel is slightly different, but 
Uh, something about these, man, I just like them slightly better. So I am gonna pick these up and um, I'm sure they won't be hard to get. They'll probably sit, but the way things been going, you never know what you're brand. Also, February the 25th, we got a Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 Zebra colorway. Um, trade bait, that's all I can say, man. Um, it looked like it could be dope. A lot of people are saying it's one of the dopest Yeezy 350s yet. One of the dopest to ever release. I don't know about that. It looks like it could be up there, but I can't get down with that damn swirl, man. I don't like that swirl on the shoe. I hate it. I hate it. It's like, it's stupid, man. I don't like that swirl. I really don't. It, it reminds me of like a cinnamon roll or like cinnamon toast crunch. It's just, it's too much, man. I, I can't rock with it. Uh, so I'm gonna go for it. But if I, uh, if I, if I pick it up, then trade bait all day. Uh, I'm gonna hit somebody in the head too. Somebody, I'm gonna make somebody give me about six shoes for this shoe. Uh, but if I strike out, I'm never, I'm never, I, I don't care. Cause I ain't rocking with it that much in the first place. So, so yeah, man, that's pretty much what stuck out to me for the month of February. I know I'm, I'm sure I missed a lot of stuff that other sneakerheads are looking forward to. If I did, let me know in the comments below if I missed anything that was pretty big for this month. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Shout out to anyone who's been subscribed. Hit that like button, man. Hit those notifications. Hit them thumbs up, man. That definitely helps me a lot. If you real, you'll hit that thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up, man, if you real. If you old hating ass, uh, then hit that dislike, man and roll out. But if you real, you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe too, man. Uh, hit that bell for the notification so you know when I drop a video. Um, I appreciate everybody rocking with me. Um, go check, Like I said, go check out my last video, the Royalty Fours. And uh, yeah, just shoot me some feedback in the comments. Let me know. Follow me on IG at Sneakerhead Pat. Uh, Twitch, Twitter, Snups, all at Sniggerhead Pat. It's in the description below. And uh appreciate y'all rocking with me. And I will see you next video. Peace.